I've always had a very keen interest in trying to understand the way animals perceive the world. And I was looking for something that sensed the world in a very different way than humans did. I came across jumping spiders. Jumping spiders have evolved some elaborate sexual behavior in that males dance to females to convince that female to mate with them. Some jumping spiders have also evolved songs to create this sort of symphony. The females are really the ones that have all the power in the situation, and they're the ones that get to decide who mates with whom. If it goes wrong, the female is going to be very aggressive. And when it goes really wrong, the female is going to get a meal. The first thing we wanted to understand is the male parts. So what are males doing? How are males producing their displays? So what we did was we built an arena where we mounted a female on a pin. Okay, that looks really good. We move the female a little bit more. We'll use a dead female that we can then rotate in a lifelike sort of way so that the male will do his behaviors but then we can kind of sneakily aim our camera so that we're looking at the male. They can move very fast, faster than an eye can see. So in order to really understand the male signal, we had to use high-speed video to really sort of slow down the male movement. For the visual displays, we like to shoot them at about 1,000 frames per second. Jumping spiders can produce songs in a variety of different ways. They can just drum their legs against the ground or their legs against each other. The next thing they can do is this thing known as tremulation, and this is when they vibrate their body very, very rapidly. They are communicating with vibrations on the ground. So as humans, because we are only able to detect vibrations in the air, those types of signals are completely invisible to us. OK, I'm going to start focusing the vibrometer and get it into position. So we use okay, technology that's... to measure how the ground was moving up and down. We shine a laser on an object, and then we record the reflected laser that's coming back. So you're essentially using a laser as a microphone. And so we can change substrate vibrations to airborne sound. First here we have the high-speed uh, video shot at 1,000 frames per second, and here is the associated soundtrack. And this thump is when the abdomen is moving. And we're talking about 200 thousandths of a second. And then we can see what it's actually doing with its different body parts, with its legs and abdomen. And they're completely independent, and it's only when the abdomen is moving that it's producing sound. And so what they're actually doing is coordinating a visual display with a vibratory display. We've done a lot of experiments to try to understand the male end of things. Now, the next step is to really understand what females are doing. So what we're doing now is putting live males and females together. She already rejected one of the males. And then trying to understand what are the things that females are paying attention to, how are females making those mating decisions. There we go. Caesar. So male and female see each other and the male display starts. I really like the system because the males are not coercive at all. So they have no way to force the female to mate with him, but they just have the best little attitudes. So they will just try their hardest to mate with a female. If a female is not interested, she's going to kill him and eat him. And sometimes I, I have to stop myself from coaching the males. So, no, you need to do this a little bit differently. I, I know what she'll like, and she's not liking your display. She's going to eat you. Females are looking to see how well they coordinate their visual and their vibratory displays. And if 
the female accepts the male, the male is going to mount her and then copulate with her. Oh, oh, here we go. She's letting him in. One of the things that is striking about it is how synchronized they are. So it is our working hypothesis that this synchrony is important in mate choice decisions. So some jumping spider females only mate once. They're looking for the more genetically compatible male. If you go across different species, you'll find that closely related species have similar types of songs. The more distantly related species have different types of songs. So displays let females choose the right species. Sometimes female choices is very complicated. Oh, I would love to get inside the head of a female spider. That is what I think about often. It turns out that most small animals find it easier to use vibrations than they do to produce airborne sound. In these songs that are just incredibly intricate and amazing. And so this kind of vast world was completely alien to us. And only recently, only in the past few decades, have we been able to delve into this new sensory world and really understand the diversity of displays out there.